Is suicide always a selfish action? When someone jumps off a bridge or puts a bullet through their head and blows their brains out, who are you to say that their choice to take their life is selfish? Who are you to say that every act of suicide is an act of desperation? You're not in a position to say that at all. In fact, until you've struggled with suicide, until you've known people who have killed themselves due to certain circumstances in their life, you really can't speak against suicide. You really can't say that someone's selfish for taking their life when you don't know what they were going through. I do believe that there are selfish reasons to commit suicide. But to label everyone as selfish, to label everyone as desperate when they commit suicide is wrong in my opinion. And here's why. For those of you who haven't heard the story, Tony Scott, a film director, committed suicide. Um, I don't really want to talk talk about the whole story on him, but the 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 people reacting to him committing suicide is what I'm responding to here. This director made Top Gun, you know, with um, Tom Cruise. He's he's a he's a well-known director. Okay, and he committed suicide by jumping off a bridge, and people media, CNN, are going on and jumping on these tangents saying how they can't believe that this man would commit suicide and leave his two children and wife behind. And they're saying how selfish he is. I mean, every place I go on the internet on this story, they're just saying how selfish Tony Scott was for committing suicide, for jumping off the bridge and taking his own life. And I have one message to the people who think that Tony Scott is selfish for t taking his life. You need to wake up. You need to realize... <laughs> no, let me just back up for a moment. Just the other day, I had a discussion with my mom and my dad at the dinner table. And my mom wanted to know what to do in a situation if my dad, who has had a stroke the past two times in the past two years and nearly died with his last stroke, wanted to know what we should do if my dad either goes into vegetable state or gets permanent brain damage where he's in, um, in pain and suffering and he's basically in a medical bed. And my dad said to my mom and me that he would want to commit suicide. He would want to have an assisted suicide. He would want to have the plug pulled on him, whether he was on life support or not. Is that selfish? No, you know what's selfish? What's selfish is me wanting someone to stay alive for my personal gain and my personal pleasure while they are in, while they are suffering in pain. It's like the example I use on my dog when my dog's legs went out. We couldn't uh, take her to the vet because it was too expensive, right? And for me to want to keep my dog alive for my personal gain and benefit while she's suffering in pain, she can't walk, can't go to the bathroom, that's wrong. That is selfish. So to you people who are saying that Tony Scott committed suicide and he's a selfish person because of that, he had a brain um, brain cancer and that he was going to have to, he had a mental it was going to affect him in a very negative way. He was going to have to go through all this you know chemo and not chemo but you know he was have to go through he was going the brain cancer was going to cause him excruciating pain in the long run and. You know, I, I can't speculate if that's why he committed suicide, but he was diagnosed with this, and I think, in my personal opinion, he didn't want to have to live and have his two children and wife watch him suffer, watch him suffer and slowly die. I wouldn't want, if I, if I had a family, I wouldn't want my family to watch me die in pain slowly each day, I wouldn't want that. So to you people out there who are saying that every act of suicide is out of desperation and selfishness, shut the fuck up. So please, for the family's sake of Tony Scott, stop spreading out rumors saying that he was selfish for committing suicide. Because you and me don't know what was going through his mind. You and me don't really know the real reason why he committed suicide. But to attribute it because he was selfish is not only disrespectful to his family, but it shows to me that many people don't really understand suicide. And they just throw out a general generalization on people who commit suicide by attributing them as weak, 
or, or useless, or pathetic, or weak-minded, or weak-willed, or most of all, the common one is how selfish they are because he left his two children behind. I don't believe in taking your life for temporary solutions, but if you're dying with an, an illness that's going to cause you pain in the long run, and you have, your, your loved ones have to watch you suffer, I'm in full support of someone taking their own life, whether it's jumping off a bridge, blowing their brains out, or taking pills to overdose and have a peaceful death. So please, I just want you to take into mind and think about this a little more before you ignorantly spew out the fact that everybody who commits suicide is selfish and does it for an act of desperation. Just think about it, please.